Today we're going to talk about the basics of using a compass, and then we'll show you how to find north without using the compass. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to start by going over the basics of a compass. Here I've got a typical compass and the different parts would be the base plate. And you'll notice on the base plate, the center line is a direction of travel arrow. Then you've got a bezel that has the points of the compass and different degrees on that. And we'll teach you how to rotate that to find north and to find your direction when you're laying it on a map. This compass also has a little magnifying glass that you can see the details of the map. And it's got a measuring device on both sides of the compass. When using your compass, it's important to make sure that it's on a flat surface so that the needle can float in the fluid that's in there. So we're going to do that. And then we will orient the bezel in a north direction and line that up with the needle. Following that, we will turn the direction of travel arrow and say we want to travel north. Now we've got north and we've got our direction of travel arrow facing north. Then we can go ahead and put that on our map to give us a direction with our map. Here's a great map of Yellowstone. And as you can see, we've oriented our northern arrow so that it lines up with the magnetic north of Yellowstone. True north would be here. And all of the lines on the Yellowstone map are designated true north. Now let's say that we want to travel between Lewis Lake which is just off of the entrance road to Yellowstone. We want to canoe Lewis Lake and get up into Shoshone Lake. You'll have to portage up the Lewis Channel, which is a tremendous experience. And we want to know what direction we're going to go. So we've oriented our map. Now we're going to turn the direction of travel. And so we're moving from the channel coming out of Shoshone Lake into the tip, oh, out of Lewis Lake into the tip of Shoshone. And so that we know, if you look straight down on the bezel, that we'll be traveling at about a 330 degrees or a north by northwest direction. It's easy once you understand how to orient your map with your compass. An easy way to learn and teach directions are to use some tongue depressors to give you some coordinates that are by degrees and by direction. Let me show you how that works. So we're gonna start with our north, south, east, and west directions. And if you're new to using the compass, it's easy to remember. You're gonna go clockwise around your compass. Remember, never eat soggy waffles north, we'll lay down first, east, going in a clockwise direction, S for soggy, and west, W, waffles. Never eat soggy waffles, northeast, south, and west. And now we'll fill in the corners, which is very simple. North by northeast, south, by southeast, south by southwest, north by northwest. Now you've learned the points of the compass and it's easy to remember and also teach to your kids. Now let's continue on. We'll talk about the degrees. Everyone's familiar with turn 90 degrees, which means turn right, turn 90 degrees. So we'll start with the easiest 90 degrees and that's going to go on the east direction. 180, you've 
it's a common phrase to hear someone say, do a 180, turn around, turn backwards. So 180 would be going from north to south. 270 would be a three quarter turn. We're going to put that on the western direction. And if you say, do a 360, everybody's familiar with that turn. That means go all the way around. So 360 degrees is at the northern tip of your compass. And again, we can just fill in the corners. 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 225 degrees, and the final one is 315, which is north by northwest. A fun thing to do is to just take your uh, tongue depressors, have them ready with the degrees or with the north, east, south directions on them, mix them up, and then just play a game and put them out in the directions of the compass, and pretty soon, you're a pro. Many people have had the experience of being lost. I know I have, and I hope that you've never had that experience. But there may come a time where you might be lost and your GPS batteries have died and you don't have a compass with you and you really do need to find what direction is north. There's an easy way to do that. Let me show you how. Now what we're going to do is put a stake in the ground that will be our starting point. And from the tip of that stake, the shadow from the sun will extend out that will be our starting point. Then we'll wait about 30 minutes and follow that tip of the shadow and stake out the next point. From there, we'll determine what our compass tells us. There are a couple of things to remember that are basic things. Uh, first, remember that the sun comes from east to west. And then also remember that in the winter sun, it's going to be lower on the horizon than the summer sun. So. It's going to be very nice for this display because the shadows are going to obviously be a little bit longer and will be easier to determine what is going to be our north direction. First thing we're going to do is put in our first stake and then mark the end of that stake with another one so that we can see where the shadow lands. Like I mentioned, we're in the winter time and so the sun's going to be lower on the south horizon and it's going to extend the shadow so it's going to make it a little bit easier for us to determine north. Now we'll go to the end of the shadow and put in the second stake. We've left our stakes out for about an hour and marked each end of the shadow. Now what we're going to do is take the first stake and we're going to draw a line in between the west stake and the east stake and then turn it on a 90 degree angle. That should be north or close to it. Now we'll see how we did. I'll orient my compass to a northern direction, place it on our stake. As you can see, we're pretty close to north. We hope that this little orientation on finding north and using a compass has been very helpful to you. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.